so if you don't like fish and guts and stuff look away now because there's quite a few in here so these are these are sprats it's beautiful little fish you can see these are lovely and fresh nice clean eyes and they're very oily fish very oily indeed so you don't need to use very much oil when you're cooking them unless you're going to deep fry them which is what i'm going to do of course now these were very popular when i was a kid and the reason was they were so plentiful i lived about 10 miles away from a fishing port called north shields and every day there'd be at least 20 boats coming in unloading tons and tons of these in fact for a couple of bob which is about 10 pence today you could go down and get a carrier bag full of these so if you didn't have an awful lot of money there were a smashing way to feed your family and people used to just top the heads off like this take the tails off take out the inside i would show you myself doing it but i'm having to hold the camera with one hand and then clean them out well i tell you what i'll be glad when this is all over cleaning these because they're not very pleasant at all i mean they're all right but the fish and the smell of fish you know what i mean everything smells of fish which i suppose is good because if it smelled of anything else i'd be a little bit worried then you'd mix together a batter mix mix them in the batter and then deep fry them absolutely first class now elsewhere in the country they used to have a posher name for these they called them white bait I mean that's just daft isn't it the sprats when I was a lad I used to go fishing to North Shields with my uncle Harry and we'd go down to a little corner of the jetty called Spratland and we'd fish there with old guts and you know what we would just bring home bags full of these and puddlers happy days you never went hungry if you had a hook a bit of line and a bit of old lip bit you could pull these things in all day long so anyway I'll get on with cleaning them all and then I'll show you how I go about making the batter so now we've got them all cleaned, they're all topped and tailed, all gutted, washed again, and now I'm just going to get a nice bit of sea salt on them. And the reason you put sea salt on is it's just, it brings the flavour out. Now this is Cornish sea salt. It's really, really good. I can highly recommend it. It's not like a pretendy salt. It's real. It's big, chunky grains of salt. The kind that you like to put on stuff. Really good stuff. Very good for you. Smash it. Okay, so now you're after making a nice light batter. Now, if you've got some corn flour, that's fantastic. Or if you're in the sushi and you've got some tempura flour, do you know that's even better? But if you haven't, and you're like me, a bit of plain flour in the bowl. Now, there's all sorts of different measurements you can have on this. I'm not going to bother, really. All I know is, is that into that, I want to get a bit of pepper. So I'll just sprinkle a wee bit of pepper on there as well. I want a little bit of extra flavour, so I'm going to put some little drop of chilli powder in there. Not a lot. Get it to come out. Because I'm also going to put in there a wee bit of this smoked paprika. Now I've had this since a Christmas present a while ago, and I'm just going to put a bit of that in there as well. And then a wee bit of thyme. You can put in whichever herb you particularly like. In addition to thyme, I like basil, and I grow it nice and fresh. So I'll put a bit of basil in there as well. Don't need an awful lot for flavour. And you don't put any liquid in with this at all, right? No liquid. Because your sprats are oily and you're going to coat them with that. And that's all you do. And that is your batter mix. So you just leave that off to one side. Now, if you're a bit like me and you like your batter to fizz up a little bit, well, it never hurts to just pop a little bit of baking powder. But you don't want too much of this. A little bit of baking powder sprinkled in with it as well and all that will do is, is that when it hits the moisture of the actual sprats themselves it will start to work next thing you know you pop it in the fat and it puffs up just beautiful i don't know if you can hear me over the spit of the fat but you can see now that i've tossed the fish into the flour getting it all well coated and then across i pop it in into the the pan under the wok just to see if it's hot enough and I think it is so I'll just take the first few bits and drop them in and they're cooking nicely now you cook them for about three or four minutes so they're nice and golden brown and take them out just let them drain off a little bit 
Dan dacht ik hem toen. No, there you go. No, tell me that that doesn't look really nice. They took about four minutes to fry up. They're absolutely gorgeous. Do it with a nice little bit of salad there as well. And on this side here, we've got rice and peas. And that is a supper fit for a king. Now let me just try one. White bait, never had it since I was about 10. Sprats, champion, food of the gods, man. Oh, that is really canny good. 